ones who become the source of this so-called speaking in tongues. Then there is the other group. They don't fall for this emotional stuff. They are not emotional people. They don't get swayed away by emotions, you know, like the other group. For the other group, the emotions are so powerful in them, right, that they just don't know what they are doing at that moment. But the other group, they are very calculated, they are thinking people. So you know what they do? They mentally learn to speak in tongues, that same gibberish which is spoken by the other group. So they say the same things those people say, they imitate them. And they say, well, I'm ex it is a, a, a tongue, it is a gift, and I'm exercising it. I'm saying the same things they are saying. So they say they are speaking by the Holy Spirit, and I'm speaking the same language of the Holy Spirit. You see how they get messed up, totally messed up? You have to be very careful with this stuff. It's demonic. And I'm going to prove to you from the Bible, the Lord willing, in the next Bible study, that this indeed is a demonic practice. Now, we have not even touched on what the gift of tongues is all about, right? What is it? Is it the gibberish that these people speak? Or is it something else? We'll find out, the Lord willing, in the next Bible study. Uh, but you see this. Tongues are not to be used as whatever those tongues are. We look at what tongues are in the Bible. But even if you think you have the gift of tongues, you should not be using it as a prayer language privately to edify yourself. That is selfishness. God doesn't allow you to do that. So if you are someone who thinks you have the gift of tongues, uh, if you are speaking it in the church and nobody understands it, shut up, he says, don't talk. So you can't say, well, he said, don't talk in the church if nobody understands. So I'm going to speak privately to myself and to God. He says to that also, don't do it. That becomes selfishness. Now I'm going to address and prove to you from the Bible that your gift of tongues is not biblical. All right. Uh, it's. It's not my greatness or some ability that I possess more than you do. Well, if you believe what this book says, the King James Bible says, as it says it, where it says it, and compare scripture with scripture, you will understand it too. As a young Christian, as a young Christian, uh, I struggled with this before I even read the Bible once fully.